Hey guys, got uh, the new box for my main battery bank breaker. There. And you can see where it's from, Cube Corporation, his phone number, and... Uh, their website if you're interested in the box. <clears throat> it's uh, 6 deep, 6 wide, and 12 inches long. It's their trough. And comes with the screws. It is outdoor rated. And it's pretty nice. Pretty nice box. Hey guys, next update, got the breaker mounted, and the LEDs mounted, <coughs> oh. get the light on here, check it out. It's got some wiring to do for the lights. And it should be uh, ready to mount. <laughs> and uh, box is ready to go too. Catch y'all in the next part. Hey guys, another update on the solar. Got my uh, main battery breaker box mounted, wired, and hooked up to the battery bank. And uh, that right there is watts being drawn out of the bank, battery bank. And capacitor bank is leveled out with the battery bank. <clears throat> it's been pretty cold here, like, uh, you know, single digits at night, snow, cloudiness, so... I just turn my load controller off. No point. Need to keep the batteries up as much as possible. Because for one thing, it's not heated back here. So, I'm trying to keep the batteries warm by keeping them nice and topped off. And using the battery adjustment for the temperature. So, instead of 14.8 for bulk, it's like 15.4. And I actually set up my trimetric. It is night right now. But you can monitor a second battery bank. Just the voltage, not, not any amperage or anything. And I hooked that up to the input coming off the solar panels. So that way I can see, you know, when I'm... It's pretty much like maybe 0.1 of a volt higher than what the battery bank is reading, unless it's fully charged, then I'm reading about 23 volts. Pretty much open circuit voltage from the panels. I've <clears throat> been thinking about, I don't know when, but sorry I'm shaking, it's cold. Uh, changing my, uh, my uh, input from my solars uh, to, which would be like 46 volt because open circuit for those is 23.5. So it'll be 46, 47 volts. And I think that would help me be more efficient on charging. Anyway, I need to do some more. I'll turn these on. And yes, I also move my LED indicators over there as well. I was thinking maybe I might... Uh, Put some here for this. I don't know if I'm going to bother or not with that. Excuse me. Uh, oh, yeah. So, here's my LED lights. And I don't know how well 
the camera is going to pick it up. There it is right there. And I'll probably take another video another time when it's warmer in here and I'm not shaking. <laughs> uh, and uh, show you what it looks like in complete darkness. Actually lights up pretty good the whole this whole area right about like this lights it up pretty good. So, you know, main breakers tripped or <clears throat> fuses is blown or something like that. This LED actually came out of like a a, a camping lantern and it has a, a battery backup. So if the power supply were lost that's feeding it, I'd still be able to turn it on here. Because uh, it has a separate switch from the charging circuit. <clears throat> so it's pretty cool. And they get this wired in here as well. So I can do 3, 6, or 9 volt, 12 volt, or uh, USB charging. Also, cigarette lighter there too. The only thing is. This USB is only half amp, which really won't do much smartphones. I mean, it'll work, but it takes freaking ever. So, uh, <clears throat> got this one amp USB charger in there. <sighs> mm, can't think of anything else right now. wiring and I'm gonna have excuse me about fell uh I'm gonna have another fluorescent that'll be twelve volt these are AC but I'm gonna put one right power right about there sorry I'm trying to hold it still and I think that's it and I still need to finish wiring this thing correctly this last 410. Get rid of the alligator clips. So that's my battery bank voltage. And uh, that is actually watts. You can change it. If you wanted to read amps, you can change the setting. Excuse me. I'm a hundred percent.